In this video, we are going to have a look at how to enable Microsoft Edge as the default browser on Windows 11 machines using Intune. You can use the same scenario and the same policy to set default applications for other extensions as well. Say for example, if you want to open up the PDF files using Acrobat Reader for all your users, or if you want them to use a browser, for example, Chrome or even Edge, you can do the same thing in this particular policy. Similarly, you can use any applications and any extensions as part of this particular configuration. We'll look that up as we go along. So to set the scene, I have a Windows 11 machine over here, my test machine. So let me close that off. And just to make sure that I don't have everything set up the way I want on this particular machine, let's go into settings and let's click on apps on the left hand side. And let's check on the default apps. And let me just search for uh, edge for example let me just search edge that should come up there you go now edge is not set as a default browser on this particular machine as you can see we have google chrome opening up htm and html files a few other extensions are set to be opened using microsoft edge along with pdf and we have a few other ones so it's not fully set for Microsoft Edge as the default browser. So HTTP and HTTPS again is set for Google Chrome. Now, ideally, we want all of these to be opened up using Edge as part of this particular scenario. So we want that particular policy to be configured in Intune and pushed down to this particular machine. So let's close that off and let me minimize the machine. Now, in order to set things the way we want, we have to use the Windows 11 machine. Any Windows 11 machine will do. It doesn't have to be joined to Android ID or hybrid joined or anything of that sort. Any Windows 11 machine will do the job. So I have my machine uh, on which I'm recording this particular video, which is Windows 11. So let me go into the settings pane of that particular machine and let me go into apps and default apps. And here we have to set the applications the way we want. All the default app associations has to be set the way we want. So let me just search for Edge and let's make it as the default browser. So let me click on Edge. And it is not set as a default browser currently. I could make it as the default one. So everything is now getting opened using Microsoft Edge. So PDF one, again, if you want Edge to be used to open up PDF, you could just change that and you can pick Microsoft Edge. If you don't want, you can just use anything else, maybe an Acrobat Reader. So all of these ones, I'm just setting it up as Microsoft Edge so that everything gets opened up using uh, Microsoft Edge. So as you can see, everything associated with the browser is being set to use the Edge browser. Similarly, if you have other applications, for example, you want all your users to open up video files using VLC player, you can again go into the default app, search for the VLC player, and you have to have these applications installed on your machines to set up the association. So click on VLC, and then you can pick up the extensions that you want and you can just choose VLC to be the default application. Now, the, the reason why we do that one is because once we set the machine using the default apps, we export all the configurations into an XML file and we use that XML file in the configuration profile with an Intune. So set the machine the way you want with all the default applications. In this video, we are only setting it up for the browser. So we're just trying to make Microsoft Edge as the default browser. So we have done that on this particular machine. And let's close the settings pane. Now we need to open up Microsoft command prompt, Windows command prompt. So let's close and open up CMD, run as administrator, click on yes. So we need to use the command line tool DISM, which is used for uh, Windows imaging and Windows service image servicing. And the command that we have is DISM slash online slash export dash default app associations and then we are giving the path as to where we want that particular association file or the associations to be exported as an XML file. So we are putting it in C temp and in a file called app associations.xml. So let me press enter. So it says the operation completed successfully. So let me go into the temp folder. So let me just get the Windows Explorer, C temp and there it is app associations. Now we need to open up this particular file using any compatible software that you have. So I have Visual Studio Code, so let me just use that. So it opens up the file and we have all kind of app associations, the default app associations. For example, BMP file has to be opened up using Photos, um, CAP file is using Windows Explorer. Similarly, you have a lot of file extensions. 
and being mapped to the correct application. Now you can either keep all of these as it is or you can just choose the ones that you need. So in our case, we are just looking at Microsoft Edge. So let me just delete all of these ones. Uh, we'll keep the Edge one. We don't need the Notepad and the Photos. I mean, you can use those ones if you want to have a single policy which is pushing everything the way you need. But in my case, I don't need that. Let me just take out all of these ones. All the photos, keeping the edge ones. There you go. So you could use Mail2 over here if you want to use the new Outlook to be the application for email, you can use that. But in my case, I'm not trying to use that at the moment. So let me just take it off. I'm just interested only in the Edge applications. So here we have everything related to Microsoft Edge, which kind of sets up it as the default browser. So for all HTM, HTML, a PDF even, and HTTP, HTTPS, FTPs, XMHTMLs, you know, everything associated with the browser will be opened up using Microsoft Edge. So this is the file that we want, the cut down version of the mappings. Now let's copy that across. Let's copy the file. And we have to use, or we have to convert this particular XML format into a base64 format which can be then used within the Intune portal's configuration profile. So for that, we go into any decoder websites. So let's say the one that we have is base64encode.org will do the job. So we go into the website, it's a free one. We paste the information that we have copied and we click on encode. Now we copy this encoded data, so copy to clipboard, we copy that one and maybe we'll just keep it within the notepad just to be on the safe side. Let's minimize the notepad, close the file, close the window. Now, let's get to business using the Intune portal. So we go into intune.microsoft.com. We go into devices on the left-hand pane and we go into windows and we go into configuration profiles. So we have configured quite a few over here, over the videos that we have done so far. So similarly, let's click on create and click on new policy to create a new profile for Windows Intune. Now let's select the platform as Windows 10 and later and the profile type as settings catalog. And let's click on create. Let's give it a name, let's say default apps, for example, I will do. Let's give the same as the description. Description is completely optional. And now let's click on next. And now within the settings catalog, let's click on add settings to bring up the settings picker on the right hand side. Let's click on application defaults. Double clicking on that one will give you two options on the bottom pane. So we have the default associations configuration, the first option, which is what we need. So let's select that. So it appears on the left hand pane over here. So let's close the settings picker. Now over here in the default associations configuration, we have to paste the base64 format that we have converted from the XML. So for that, let's go back into the notepad. Let's copy everything across, select all, copy it, and let's just paste it over here. You have the green tick box. Let's click on next. Scope tags are completely optional, so let's click on next. Now within assignments, you could go for a group and probably it's best to go for a smaller group with just the IT machines, you know, give it out onto those particular machines, test it out and see whether you get the right experience that you need and if you're happy with it, then you can come back to the same policy and then flip it to all the devices or go for a wider audience or a bigger group. Now in my tenant, I only have two machines at the moment which is running Windows Intune. So let me click on add all devices and click next. Now here you get a summary of everything that we have done so far. So we are applying this default association config to all the devices. So let's click on create wait for the policy to be created. So it says it's all done. Let's just click the refresh button so that it gets listed within our policy. So here it is, default apps. Now, as you can see, it has not yet been pushed out to any machines. So in order to speed up the testing, let's go back into the devices on the left-hand side, go into Windows, and let's find the machine on which we are trying to test. So cloudfig-pc, and let's try to push the sync rather than waiting for the device to check in. So let's click on the sync button and it says Intune will attempt to check in with this device. 
If it is successful, it will sync current actions or policies to this particular device. Would you like to continue? You click on yes. So this is similar to the GP update slash force. We're just trying to refresh the policy and the settings on the machine. In this case, by going into the Intune portal and triggering the sync from the cloud. Similarly, you can go into the end device and you can go into the settings pane, click on settings and click on accounts on the left hand side and access work or school and click the enter ID option that you have or, and click the info button and scroll down and click on the sync button. So here we are triggering the sync from the end device, trying to reach the Intune platform and then try to push down any policies and settings onto this particular device. So let's wait for the sync to complete and see whether we have Microsoft Edge being set as the default browser on the machine. The sync has been completed, so let's uh, go into apps on the left hand side. Let's click on default apps and let's search for Edge and see whether everything has been set to open using Microsoft Edge. So click on Microsoft Edge and as you can see HTM, HTML, PDF, and even HTTP and HTTPS. Everything is being set to open using Microsoft Edge, making it as a default browser for this particular machine. So the policy has been set up correctly and it's been pushed down to this particular machine. Now let's go back to the Intune portal and see what the portal says about this particular policy. So let's click on Devices, go into Windows, let's go into Configuration Profiles, wait for it to load and let's pick the policy that we have configured default apps and it says that one has been succeeded so let's click on view report and as you can see the device name is cloudific-pc which is our test machine the user has been logged in is joy at cloudific.training and the check-in status is success so it looks like the policy was updated successfully on the machine and the portal has been updated with that correct status it depends on how fast the cloud behaves on a particular day. Sometimes the portal gets reflected pretty quick. Sometimes it takes a while. So just give it some time and it will in due course get updated within the Intune platform. So as, as long as the policy is getting pushed down correctly into the machine and you can verify it, you can just be rest assured that the policy success will be reflected into the Intune portal uh, in due course. So this is how we set up Microsoft Edge as the default browser on a Windows 11 machine by using Intune. So if this video has been informative for you, do check out my other videos in the channel and please consider subscribing to the channel as I upload videos on a daily basis around Microsoft 365, Intune and Azure. Thank you.